Welcome back to another video. I have a special treat for you today. Today we're in Scarborough, Ontario, and we're actually gonna be checking out a incredible Stingray breeder. He comes highly reputable. People have talked to me about this guy for a very long time, and they said, Gordon, you gotta see this guy's stingray operation, and we're gonna go in and check it out right now. But not only does he have stingrays, apparently he has some extra crazy stuff as well. So let's go knock on the door. Lawrence? Yeah. yeah. Hey, how are you? Oh. Very good. Very hey, good. Good, good, good. How was the drive? The drive was good. The drive was good. Lawrence, I'm excited to be here, see your operation. A lot of people have told me about you and the incredible stingrays that you have. And not only that, apparently you got some extra crazy stuff downstairs as well. Yeah. So if you don't mind, can you show me your entire operation today? Sure. Awesome. Let's go check it out right now. Okay. You lead the way. All right. Crazy. Oh my God. And this wow. is my Malign 24K, um, our one is about, uh, I would say three and a half years old. Imagine so he's three and a half uh, years old. Twenty, I think 20 inches. 20 inches, no, yeah. No, 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 not even that. One foot, 15 inches. So that's a Merlion. It's a Merlion. Wow. From uh, in Singapore that produced that. Uh, he is beautiful. I call him Hybling. What? Hybling? Yeah. I love it. He's a beautiful gold arowana, like fully crossed back, getting that full helmet, uh, no signs of drop eye whatsoever. Uh, uh, beautiful fish. This is, if anybody doesn't know what Merlion is, Merlion is arguably the most reputable Asian arowana farm in the entire world. People pay big money to not only dream of having one, but to even try to get one is very tough. There's actually sometimes even buying them, and correct me if I'm wrong, Lawrence, there's even contracts um, that you have to sign mm -hmm. when you get one of these fish. It's not just like going and buying a fish at the fish store. You actually, to get one of these guys in, um, paperwork does have to even be signed as well. Not only of that, they also have to be microchipped, um, and they do come with a certificate. They are a CITES class two. Class, class two, um, endangered. Class two, endangered, that's right. And, and for all you Americans out there, you can't have this fish, but uh, no, they can. we, we, we can. <laughs> oh, easy. Now down here, we have a beautiful datnoid, it looks like. And Somebody he's... tell me it's an Indo um, datnoid. Okay. Um, so, Something like that would, uh, especially this big, would, would sell for a lot. But oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna say fifteen hundred bucks. Yeah, yeah. You're about right. that. Yeah. You know your stuff. Yeah, about fifteen hundred bucks. When I see datnoids, I usually see them. They're always kind of tipped over, facing down. They look kind of, you know, a little. To be honest, a little yeah, stressed. Yeah. But this guy is. This just, guy is always. One he's right out and about it all the time. So if you go over to the side and look at his side, he will turn his head and look at you. See? Oh yeah. Yeah. Now, he came to me as a little baby. Uh, somebody gave it to me, and didn't know how to pallets and uh, put him in here with a uh, high blade. Mm -hmm. And one day he's trying to do pallets. So oh, he's beautiful. Amazing. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. And then we got a big uh, sailfin pleco down here. He's huge. I don't know where probably. the pike is like. Yeah, probably. And the pike. Oh, oh you got a beautiful right, pike yeah. back there. Uh, oh, he looks like he's... Um... Yeah, somebody gave, gave that to me. And um, I sort of, um, you know, kept him. And yeah. it's now a pet. Um, yeah. And it's okay. Um, yeah. It's stiff warm, but I love yeah. him. Yeah, no, he's beautiful. Here, you got a lot of guppies. Now, tell me about uh, these guppies here, Lawrence. They're basically veil tail, um, show quality, uh, but uh, throughout time, um, you know, sometimes they they um, go back on their genetics as you go back. And so some of them are really nice and some of them are so-so. But again, um, I don't sell them. Um, my first love for fish is guppies, so I keep them as Cats. Oh, it's beautiful. And, yeah. Um, Lots of plants. They don't separate the babies. They, yeah. they do whatever they want. Yeah. And there are tons of them in there. Yeah. Zoom in really quick here. I just want you to see the amount of guppies here that he has. And look at them all along the top here. They're gorgeous. 
Absolutely beautiful. Oh, you even got some down here. Yeah, these are specialized um, anlers. Oh, wow. And they're mostly blue, uh, solid blue with uh, a swallow's tail, a scissor tail. Yeah. Yeah, they're gorgeous. Yeah, wow. I don't sell them. People have asked, but um, it's too much of a bother to try to net them. and. So they're just kind of like your little hobby fish. Yeah, yeah, with hobby fish. Bunch of val in the back, valisneria, it looks mm -hmm. like. Mm -hmm. I'm not so much of a plant guy, but that looks like jungle val to me. I could be wrong though. I don't change water in there. No, not at all. No, you don't need to. Look at all the plants. Like, I mean, even up here, um, look at all the plants you have. It's you just- my arm when I change, I change water once, only once every two weeks, because look at that. We got That's all the plants coming out, terrestrial plants growing right outside of the yeah. aquarium. All of the this root system as well, just sucking up those nitrates. Yeah. Obviously, um, yeah, no, incredible job. And you obviously they're ran. Are they powered by uh, sump? Yeah, the, yeah. the sump comes through the tank actually. And basically, these uh, these uh, China made tanks. Yeah. And they're cheaper, way cheaper than uh, the uh, usual Canadian tanks. Yeah, they're beautiful. Yeah. The beautiful mm -hmm. sumps. Yeah, I've seen these at uh, at fish stores around here, and um, and you can buy essentially the full kit, yeah, the full kit. for uh, dirt cheap, yeah, right? Twenty five hundred dollars. Yeah, twenty five hundred bucks, and you get like a beautiful aquarium like this. And although they come in uh, uh, China's voltage, which is uh, I don't know what it is, uh, two, one ten, I, I don't know. But basically, I uh, change. I don't use a transformer anymore. Gotcha. I put in uh, Canadian uh, voltage uh, with uh, power bars and stuff like that. So they're run now running on Canadian voltage. Uh, gotcha. Yeah. yeah, which is awesome. 60 hertz, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got it. And then over here, oh my gosh. Don't show them this. Don't. Okay, that's all you get to see so far. <laughs> uh, don't show them this fish. That's, that's we're saving him for after. It's down here. Uh, here is um, basically a terrarium. Um, okay. I used to breed newts, uh, particularly um, Leosian newts. They're very, very rare and they're on the endangered species as well. Leosian newts? Leosian, like Laos, the country, or okay. Laos. Laos, yeah, yeah Laos. Laos. Okay, yeah. And um, I sold all the babies except one. Yeah. Um, and he's uh, living in there somewhere. Yeah, I think we got a footage. Of yeah, we got some footage. Yeah, of, yeah. no, that's yeah. awesome. And he's also um, so uh, should be he'll be uh, picked up by uh, some some lady. And I think the theme is what I'm seeing. If I go around all the aquariums here, you got terrestrial plants kind of poking out of oh, every yeah. aquarium yeah. here. So um, I even like, here, can you believe it? I've had golden earlier growing up in here. Wow, ficus ginseng. Ficus, yeah, ginseng. Yeah. Okay. Look at the uh, the, the, the stock of the stem. Oh wow! Get like a ginseng. look at this. Check yeah, this out. It looks like come on over here. Right. Check that out. Look at look at the stock on that plant. Yeah. Beautiful. So a bunch of different types of plants in here, and you even have water running down them like that. Yeah, Is this it was a moss. 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 Yeah. 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 Java moss growing out of uh, 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 land. Right? Yeah, terrestrial. Oh So wow. Java moss. Um, grows like this, yeah. and it looks like this, um, terrestrially. Beautiful. Yeah. It looks actually incredible. It's like a little, kind of like a little rainforest. Yeah, and, and here is basically just movie as a Java fish. Basically, this tank is not really a display for the fish, but a display more for, the, for plants. the plants. Yeah. More, more focused on the plants yeah. rather than the actual fish. But you do have some beautiful fish, like an albino angel fish in there. Yeah and uh whatever else i need some fish in there to feed the plants yeah because to produce some <laughs> traits to, to actually fertilize it yeah. yeah absolutely yeah no i understand that for sure well it seems like honestly like with all the plants that you have in here i mean like this is a dream for me to have it's just you know well everyone the goal for everybody is not to have to do water changes yeah, right exactly. we don't want to do them we have to do them sometimes we enjoy maintenance sometimes we don't i know you're probably thinking the same thing. Oh no, we love maintenance. No, you don't. What is this? <laughs> Come on over in the carriage and tell me well, what, what this what is. This is uh, um, Indonesian um, super red. Yeah. Uh, it's not the uh, modern super reds that you see nowadays with uh, fancy tails and fancy fins. It's beautiful. This is a classic, a classic 1980s super red. Which is beautiful to me because- and they don't breed those anymore. 
Yeah, no, this is incredible. It's a beautiful red Asian arowana. Um, and it's a female, correct? It is a female. Yeah, it looks like a female to me. See, um, the, the slit of the mouth is very short. Yeah. Right? And uh, look at the, the height of the fish. Yeah. It's almost like seven inches. Yeah, yeah. no, she, she's very thick. Big belly. Yeah, beautiful belly. Very, very chunky back. Yeah. And um, fully crossed back. She's yeah. gorgeous. Full of personality. He comes. She comes to you whenever you're here. Oh and my look God. at her eyes. She's always rotating her eyes, looking at everywhere. Yeah, she's very alert, very aware. Yeah. She's a big girl and she is beautiful. Probably how many inches would you say she is? I think she's 22. 22 inches? So about two feet. Two, this. Yeah, 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 about 22 inches, yeah, she's big. Yeah, um, she needs, I need to give her a bigger tank. Oh yeah, no, 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 for sure. Um, she is absolutely incredible. This is, this is, wow, she is gorgeous. Can I buy her from you? Oh, uh, really? No, I, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Um, she for sale? Well, you know, when you come downstairs, this is in the middle of the room. Yeah. And she's a dis display of fish, my display of fish. Yeah. And I've never, I've never thought of selling her. So have you had her I'm since she sure. was a baby? Six inches. Oh, so a baby. Yeah. yeah. That's so typically, the, a, si that's typically a, the size they get imported in at. Yeah. It's about six, seven inches. So, so I have a, a, a really deep connection with her. So um, I have never thought about selling her. We're going to give them time to think about this during the video. Lawrence, don't give me your answer just yet. <laughs> um, what else do you have in here? You got some silver dollars. Uh, uh, somebody gave me that, that too. And, uh, flag tail, albino? Albino flag tail, which is, uh, I think they're kind of hard to find. They are. Yeah. But he's vicious. He killed one of my um, ghost fish and one of my juvenile rays before. So never, never keep flag tail with stingrays. Don't I've that. heard of that because they also suck on the discs. Yeah. They'll do a lot of different stuff. So you're one to vouch for that. Yeah. Yeah. I have seen it with some people and it works, but it's a risk that for me that I've never wanted to take yeah. with my stingrays. Well, this guy is, is vicious. I have a big, big guy in there. Uh, it's just a regular black tail. He has never found any of my rakes. So the, I don't know. This guy is what, six inches and yeah. he's vicious. He's going after the yeah, he's even going after the silver dollar in there. You see that? <laughs> he's mean. What else do you got in here? I love that fish. Uh, before you go, actually, uh, yeah. you see the uh, big pop pop Oh, right I didn't even notice that. Yeah, it, it actually comes out of uh, the arowana. I, I, yeah, I, I, I call her Madame Red. Madame Red. Yeah. So look at the root, root system. Oh, yeah. So Do you see uh, that? That's crazy. I don't have to change water every week. Once every two weeks is my routine. Yeah. Because the look at all the plants those. running out over there. And and like even over the side, Jay, like if you see it over here, like so it's eating up all the nutrients um, in the water. Yeah, that is nuts. Yeah. That that is nuts. That's, that's incredible. How you, that's how you want to do it. Yeah, no, that is how you want to do it. Water change as much as possible. Oh, for sure. Oh wow, we we got more Asian marijuana. Uh, this is nuts. Okay, so th tell me about this one. This, this is the Malayan fish as well. Okay. Uh, it it is actually a combination uh, marijuana. Okay. It has current case of super red, uh, gold part cross back, gold cross back, super red, green marijuana. So gold, so super red, golden cross back, mm -hmm. and a green. Yeah. And this is like a, a hybrid. A hybrid. Um, some farms will call them Tongyan, um, but Malayan call them, uh, calls them Harmony. Harmony. Yeah. And this fish is special because it's 12 inches and it has been 12 inches for the last two years. Wow. So I spoke to the owner of Malayan. Yeah. And he has confirmed that some. Uh, babies that come from the, that batch uh, grow very small. Yeah, yeah. 
and the special feature is the head and the body. Yeah, they call look, it the it's uh, different. King, what, king bread or something? It's like kind that? of like a spoon head, right? Yeah. It's deeper than a spoon Yeah, because it kind of dips up, right? Yeah, and it has uh, um, somewhat of a short body. Okay. And I think that's the genetics for this fish, and that's why it doesn't grow bigger. Gotcha, okay. That's beautiful. And then you got also, you got this big flag tail in here too. Yeah, that, that one is uh, is a good fish. He doesn't, he doesn't kill my race. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one, that one's okay. We'll leave him. Another, uh, a couple of plecos in here. Yeah. And another one of these, um, kind of uh, these, these uh, Chinese made kid aquariums yeah. that are just beautiful. Like, yeah. the built in sump system at the bottom as well again. And yeah. Is that, is that mountain tree? Uh, Lotus, uh, Lotus, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know the brand of it. I think it's Mountain Tree. Yeah, yeah Brent uh, sells it at yeah. Magical Aquarium, and exactly. uh, and um, I've actually, um, yeah, I've heard great things about Mountain Tree products. Now, you're the stingray breeder. Mm -hmm. You're the guy. Mm -hmm. Can you show us your race? Uh, <laughs> they are hidden away. They're hidden away. He's taking us to them. Turn this camera. We're getting that fish. Come on over. Okay. Oh wow. <laughs> Alright. Uh, oh yeah. wow. I, I have a very small operation. Uh, but I've been able to create uh, at least two different lines of uh, stingray snap. Okay. Some, these are my grown oh my gosh. Uh, Check out these guys. These guys are massive. Yeah. Big females. So but walk me walk me through them there, uh, Lawrence. Okay, this is a, a regular albino pearl. Yep. And, and my stingrays are all tame because when they come home, I hand feed them. You hand feed them, yeah. So you can um, actually pat them yep. behind the head. Slowly. Yep. That's and beautiful. I have two black diamonds in there. So you got a big female black diamond. Look at the size of her. She's got a lot of donuts on her body. She's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. That's a big meat female. There's another female here. Yeah, that's a, a higher grade um, of minor pearl. It has, oh, it looks like a black diamond really with uh, with dots and everything. Yeah. And um, so, uh, these are actually my um, creation. Okay. I used, um, in the past, I used P13 with albino pearl. P13 and albino pearl. And it give me something like that. Oh, wow. Like yeah. what she has here. Yeah. yeah. Look at the red dots. So she's probably what size disc? Would you say 30 inches? Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh, well, I would say at least uh, 24 inches across. Yeah, definitely. Oh, 20 inches. I don't know. It looks she's, big. She's, she's big. Yeah, she's big. And if you, I don't know if you can see here, they, they have the flat tail like that. Oh, that, yeah. And, yeah, uh, hard to diamond. see, but they have like, yeah, that kind of flan, fan tail, like a black yeah, diamond. So it's not just a needle, you know? Yeah. Uh, and uh, that one there. Yep. Uh, I went to Thailand. Which uh, one? Sorry. This one here. This Okay, this one here. Yeah, yeah. He's, she's a little shy. And likes That's to fine. Objects. Uh, I went to Thailand uh, two years ago. Yep. And I personally picked two up. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, one died, and this one survived. Um, she has yet to be pregnant, but um, she's a hybrid. Uh, I think they call her uh, Line Pearl. Okay. Because she's got all lines. Line Pearl. Okay. Wow. Let's see if I can get her to come out and see. Look at that. Look at her. Wow. It's a line high line pearl. Line outline of pearl. She come is on, right? gorgeous. Look at her. Oh my gosh. Wow, and you even got that little be you got beautiful a, a beautiful male black diamond that just yeah. swam under there, but um definitely a lot of donuts on them just like your female yeah um, and I want to address that uh, when you are into serious building uh, breeding and building yeah. breeding breeding your females might look like that 
Yeah. Bitten on the sides. Yeah. Um, that's because the, uh, the males are yep. basically very aggressive. They're very aggressive. And um, you don't have to worry about it. As long as the water is clean, they'll grow back. Yeah. And you can see that it's growing back already with the red. The female, she doesn't want this to happen. The male kind of forces it to happen. So it can be pretty aggressive if you're seeing it for the first time and hard to understand or even fathom. But, you know, this is the animal kingdom and this yeah. is what they do. Sometimes the, uh, the females may be receptive and uh, it'll be an easier process for the male and the female to grow through. <laughs> okay, so now we got the, we got this little fella's attention here. So check, well, he's, out, check he's, out him. Yeah, he's asking for food. Oh, look at that. So um, he knows me very well because, as I say, I hand feed all of those, um, all of my rays. Yeah. And he's very tame. Uh, I'm going to go get uh, a couple of worms and I will show you how I do it. Yeah, you're going to feed him? Um, oh. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. So this guy is cute. So check this out. Get this on camera. Come on, little buddy. Oh, no, he swam away this time. He doesn't like me. But look at this one. Uh, we're going to ask Lawrence about this one because this one has no tail, which is really crazy that this one has no tail. And uh, I don't know if this is a birth defect or, or what, but it looks like a female. It is a female. It, oh, it is a female. Yeah. Like, look at her. She'll be picked up tomorrow. Yeah, and she's been so sold. In the morning. Yeah, she's beautiful. Now, um, look, this is a compost worm or a red wriggler. Yeah. And I'm just going to let her come out. No, you want this? No? Oh, yeah, you want this. Come on. Yeah. Okay, all right. Oh, oh there he goes. <laughs> Got it. And, uh, this one is not as tame yet. Yeah, but so you gotta... Come on, no, no, no worries. It's okay, baby. Yeah, okay, look at this. Oh, oh you and got he it. smashed it too. <laughs> look at that. Uh, she's... A... So she was, was she born, so was she born this way? Is this common when you're breeding stingrays to sometimes see these yes. abnormalities? Yeah, sometimes uh, the tear comes up a little, comes out a little wrong, and then you see uh, a little bit of wound on the base of the tail, and then um, it eventually drops off. Okay. And then yeah. that would not harm the ray. In fact, uh, some, pe some people like it because they look like flying saucers. Yeah. And um, they have no, no stingers anymore. They don't have a part. No. So check this out. It's gently holder, but there's no barb here. There is no barb whatsoever. Imag now, just imagine for one second being able to own a stingray that can't sting you. I know a lot of people that actually have wanted to have stingrays but are actually scared to own a stingray because of the fact that, oh, what if it stings me? And I tell them all the time, it's, it, it'll, it, it is such a freak accident if that does happen. Yeah. You must be truly doing something wrong yeah. um, for that to happen, um, you know, from, as long as you're 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 like what you're doing, you're hand feeding your rays, mm -hmm. you're taming your rays. Mm -hmm. So when you sell these rays, they're got the best start possible. Exactly. And you know what? Um, when anyone buys from my operation, they do not have to actually make their rays uh, because they're born in Canadian waters. Yeah. Right. Right here, yeah. So um, I can. They're not imported. Yeah, exactly. And um, when I sell wholesale, it is basically the same price as what Thailand or Taiwan would charge the, the wholesale buyer. Yeah. Um, but then if you buy from overseas, you can pay even for fees and uh, shipping. Oh, yeah. and, they can uh, die in shipping. And, exactly. And, and then you have to actually make your the race to Canadian waters. And so I believe that's the reason why people buy from my small operation mm -hmm. uh, is that they can take the rays back home and just put it in the tank. Absolutely incredible. Now, your water change system on here must be pretty extensive. You obviously have terrestrial plants coming out of the water, a lot of pothos, you name it. 
Um, yeah, you got plants here. Um, and you even got all these tubs over here, which uh, I understand are filled with media. DIY tubs. DIY. <laughs> yeah, Joey, you'll like that. Uh, DIY tubs. Uh, they don't look look as good as uh, the, uh, King of DIY, but <laughs> this, yeah, they work. They work and they look good. Um, this little fella's uh, sucking on my finger uh, <laughs> every, every chance he gets. A lot of filtration, DIY filtration, which is really done the smart way. You're not you're not really going out of your way to spend an arm and a leg on no. your on your filtration. No, this is just a star of a box. Yeah. Insulated, yeah, <laughs> perfect. And then uh, totes. totes. And then even over here on the big tank with all the big breeders, um, you have two of those star form. And then one, one over there as well. Yeah. Yeah. Now, what about water changes? How were they done in these? Um, I took the page out of uh, uh, the King of DIY. Uh, his name is Joey. Right? Joey. Yep. Yeah. So I actually ran the, uh, from the faucet two tubings. Two tubes from the faucet. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, they run into a container like this, which is, which is filled with uh, activated charcoal. So they run down there and do a filter that's filled with activated charcoal. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, it's basically not a drip, but a little flow of water that okay. comes in from here. Yeah, just carbon, water. right? Yeah. Rolling. Yeah. And then I have, uh, depending on the day, if the water is high, I'll put all the three tubes into the drain. Okay. Right now, I have only one tube. In the oh, and they run drain. down into the drain. Look at yeah. this. Yeah. Yeah. And the so, water's just running down into the drain system. Yeah, and so uh, in the daytime, it's constantly changing water. It's like a, a real river system. Yeah. yeah. So essentially, virtually minimal nitrates or next to none at all. Exactly. And, uh, and you don't really have to yeah. worry because when you're when you're changing a lot of a lot of this water, it's, yeah. it's a it's, it's a big job. Yeah, it is a big job, and um, it's a lot of time. It's a trick. If you turn your uh, faucet into a little drip or a little flow, it doesn't register on the meter. So, oh, it doesn't register <laughs> on the meter. We can save money on water. Yeah, exactly. Now, this little, this little guy, mm -hmm. is he, is he, uh, oh, look at him go. He's, yeah. He's always checking people out. And he always seems to like to come right here. I can't get over this little fella here. <laughs> um, is he for sale? Um, actually, no. Um, I have to keep him for my live breeding I can't I can't uh, I can't I can't let her go but a friend of mine has two of the siblings gotcha and <laughs> if anyone likes um, you know you can go to uh, magical aquarium magical yeah, aquarium yeah. Scarborough actually I uh, shot a video there yeah like I said like maybe about a month month and a half ago yeah that's awesome um, they have uh, they're both girls and they're still there. So if anyone is interested, go there and get uh, the two, two girls. girls. Two girls at uh, Magical Aquarium. Uh, this boy is definitely um, going to stay here for my operation. So he's going to be one of your future breeders. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. That's incredible. Um, and also, also uh, with breeding, you want to breed a uh, race with good personality. And as you can see, he's. He has such a beautiful personality, and hopefully that will also pass down to to his children. Yeah, yeah. So it's not just about the genetics; it's about the personality of the fish. Oh, of course, you know. So uh, the personality usually catches somebody off guard, and they, they just fell in love, uh, fall in love with the fish. Yeah. Um, some people even take because he's so cute, and if he turns out to be not as nice as he is. People always take him because he has a beautiful personality. Yeah, no, absolutely. Like uh, that that's by far the friendliest pup I've ever seen mm -hmm. by a long shot. Mm -hmm. So a lot of care goes into your rays and and, and and that shows. And not only that, just the knowledge, the the filtration, the the beautiful, beautiful adults here. Um, if you know on YouTube, you know, depending on how big your TV is, it, it may look small, but these rays are absolutely massive and big and beautiful. Look at them. So, you know, Lawrence, uh, these are beautiful fish, my friend, beautiful stingrays. I love the operation um, <laughs> that you're doing. It's, it's absolutely incredible. So 
Um, how can people get a hold of uh, your your operation and your company, and, and what can we expect from? I have a name for my operation, and it's a very catchy one. It's called the Naked Rays. The Naked Rays. Yeah, not the Naked Women. Not yeah, no, the Naked Rays. The, yeah. the Naked Rays. Yeah, and uh, I'm a I'm not really a social media person, uh, so I'm on Dinosaur Facebook. So check out my page at uh, The Naked Race on Facebook and you'll see pictures and videos of all I have, mm -hmm. other ways I have. Sometimes I have my hour one of pictures in there too, mm -hmm. uh, but that operation is basically for my sting race. And I mean, you're, you know, showing your arowanas too is just showing the love for you. And, you know, at the end of the day, you're a hobbyist. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, obviously you're a hobbyist. You're not just doing this just for profit. This is no. a clear love of the hobby, mm -hmm. which you can tell by the work that you put into your systems. It's it's absolutely incredible, in my opinion. Yeah, basically the sale of my baby rays are just uh, money for food. Mm -hmm. for to the feed rays. the hobby. Yeah, exactly. To feed so the hobby. It's, uh, it's not really a profitable business. I mean, I mean, make a few dollars here and there, but basically it's just to buy food for the race. Of course it is. Yeah, absolutely. Why not? Right? Yeah. Um, yeah. They, they must eat a lot. They eat a lot. They what's their dot? What's their what's their diet like? Um, I never I never asked that. I have um, not feed them shrimps in a long time because they are very, very expensive. Yeah. But basically they got two meals of pallets. Yeah, uh, I go with a Canadian brand, North Fin. North Fin, you know, yeah. Support Canadian business. Yeah, of course. Uh, North Fin uh, Massivore diet. Yeah. Big pallets. Yeah. And then one meal a day, they would get uh, mackerel fish, uh, basso fish, yeah. uh, silver size, uh, mussels, and clams. So that's during the din dinner time at about five o'clock in the. I give them a lot of that, yeah. and in the morning and before they go to bed, I feed them with pallets. Gotcha. So, uh, so you're feeding them a lot, and and, mm. and they, correct me if I'm wrong. That's just a part of getting them to breed is, is yeah, conditioning. Yeah, yeah, right? exactly. You don't want to feed them pallets all the time, uh, just because it's convenient. They really like the meat of uh, fish. I, I can't afford shrimps anymore, but I yeah, get, like you know tilapia. Uh, uh, Basso fish, mackerels, uh, uh, things that are on sale in the supermarket, mm -hmm. and they love it. Yeah. And they love mussels and clams. The only thing they wouldn't like, they don't like, is squids. Squid. Yeah. Okay. No calamari. No squid. <laughs> no calamari. I don't like calamari either. <laughs> Yeah, no, absolutely. I try them on everything, and they are not picky either. No. Uh, they would eat fish, anything. Yeah, no. But no beautiful. squid, no, no calamari. No calamari. <laughs> Got it. Noted. <laughs> They're beautiful. Wow. That is incredible. Well, Lawrence, mm -hmm. uh, it's been an absolute pleasure. Uh, I'd like to thank you um, for letting me and my viewers and my channel actually view your entire operation the love and the care that you actually put into your your operation um, i'm going to put all of lawrence's uh socials in the bottom there which is facebook you can find them at yeah the I, I also have a music channel on youtube music uh, channel i'll put that in there too pretty big well uh this channel with a lot of uh, high quality videos but um, i'm just wishing for a, li a little bit more subscribers so we got to help him out on his music <laughs> channel you. and on his fish facebook page um so definitely i'll put all of his links to his socials in um the uh, the description of this video guys if you like this video give it a big thumbs up if you'd like to see more home fish room tours breeding operations let me know in the comments section below lawrence Thank you, my friend. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Uh, anything else you want to say? Uh, well, I'm from Singapore. Uh, so Singapore is uh, known to be one of the richest country in the world. And it has fabulous, fabulous uh, arowana farms. The best. So buy a fish from Singapore. Buy a fish from Singapore. And feed your fish Canadian products. Canadian products only. <laughs> That's it. Awesome. Well, I appreciate it, Lawrence. Guys, thank you for tuning into this video, and I will see you in the next one. I'm going to try to convince Lawrence to sell me a fish today. I have a feeling he's going to let me.
Okay, just wait. He's gonna let me, but I don't know what I want to get yet. So we might have to do a part two at Lawrence's house of me getting a fish because I know he's gonna sell me something today. What? Maybe. 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 <laughs> All right. We'll cut it into the next video. Thank you for watching.